when we develop a connection system, we develop it so that it is pluggable. We develop it so that it is able to be automated in our customers' assembly plans. And I think our customers recognize that as a value that Aptiv brings. If you're going to miniaturize, you need to try to have some level of automation to make sure that that can be done accurately. The dock and lock is really designed as an enabler for automation. So you can take a robot and he can pick up that PDC out of a carton and bring it over and insert it into that dock and make all the connections at the same time he's inserting it. And it can actually be integrated almost anywhere where you already have sheet metal. Even though the system's designed for automation, you can manually release the PDCs and pull them out of the dock and service them if necessary, and then place them manually back in the dock. Wiring harness requires someone that is uh, on their knees and crawling around inside of a, a body in white and chassis and uh, really hard to reach areas to actually do that type of connection, routing, fixing. What we really want to do is to look at how we can automate that so that it's not really uh, something that a person is plugging it in. And therefore, as we go into the more zonal architecture and the backbone type of architecture, ideally you're trying to get the individual wiring harnesses to be more like a typical sub-assemblies that we make and then we feed that into final assembly. Making something that's easier to automate on the vehicle assembly side as well as manufacturing really goes hand in hand with the overall architecture change. We really have to be practical about how to improve the product design for automation so that the cost to automate is much more manageable and uh, it's easier for us to do that. What we want to do is we want to help those OEMs meet that demand, developing more efficient systems, faster to market, more flexible and configurable charge ports, and really helping them with the assembly and lowering their costs.